Well, when a project first comes to me, it's, um, I have a very different process than most people that I've learned um, in working with thousands of different collaborators. Now, everybody has a different way of starting. Mm -hmm. And the first, the first uh, glorious few minutes of considering a project for me are so golden. When somebody gives me a script that I know I'm supposed to look at, I don't just open it up. I, I have a little country studio that uh, I know that in the first five minutes will come the base instincts for that project. It, very rarely do I research and sort of force an idea. Um, if I hear a piece of music or read a, the, the first page of a script, I generally get the hit, mm -hmm. the, the sort of filter that everything's going to go through. And I don't research, I don't do any referencing until I've had a chance to take a stab at it with my own clean self. Mm -hmm. Um, whereas this is what's different about the artistic process now. Google mm -hmm. has changed entirely the way in which designers design. And it's, and it's not, not in a good way. Maybe it's useful when you need to know what an oak leaf looks like mm -hmm. and you can within five minutes see the shape of it. But if you start the oak tree project mm -hmm. with Googling oak tree, mm -hmm. what did it mean to you really? It was a it was this sort of almost an arbitrary way, arbitrary way in which those images came in front of you. And you're led. You're then led by this process. I think you should lead the process yourself. So, not that I don't get down to the, the, the nitty-gritty of referencing and studying, but the first five minutes has kind of come from your own heart. And uh, this, is what, this is what we train ourselves for as artists. This is the idea of true originality and uh, uh, what I'm going to bring, uh, the shows that I do are often been rendered on stage a dozen times or 50 mm -hmm. times. You're doing an opera and it's been, in its history, it's been done 50 times. I, I want to do it in my own way and I don't start by looking how others did it and what not mm -hmm. to do and what to do. I really try to look at it in a, in a more pure fashion. What, is it, what did it mean to me? When, you, when I hear music, I, hear, I see a color. Mm -hmm. I have, you know, mm -hmm. I have real instincts and signals that, and so I've found that when I don't follow my own signals, I get in trouble. And the work's not strong. Yeah. I mean, it may be adequate, but it's generic. So you find when, that you don't really approach it in terms of conceiving form, more spirit or energy of the piece. Yeah, I mean, I try to, I try to not treat it into it in an overly intellectual manner. Mm -hmm. I try to let the emotional, intuitive speak to me, which is a hugely intellectual process mm -hmm. anyway, but it's one that we can't identify. But you know, the idea of flashes and inspiration, they're a real thing. And I, until I can disprove what an inspiration, that an inspiration can't work, I stay with it too. I'm stubborn that way.